I'm Joji Kito. I travel around the world looking for odd foods. I traveled through Egypt to reach the Sahara Desert. Wow, what a view. This is incredible. It was hot as hell out, but I didn't care. This place was amazing. The odd food I was after was pretty big. It even had a Guinness record of its own. We almost there? Yeah, almost. Just hang in there. I was headed towards a nomadic village out in the desert. They were called the Bedouins. They're a very proud people. I see, said my driver slash tour guide. When it rains in the winter, they go out into the desert. And when it gets dry during summer, they move to the farmland near the water. They've been doing this for generations. So they're constantly on the move, constantly traveling through the desert. That can't be easy. A few hours later, we finally arrived at the village. Here we are, the Bedouin village. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. It was straight out of a movie or something. Amazing, just amazing. But I wasn't here to sightsee. Let's get down to business. Let's see if there are any restaurants that serve this dish. It's a very special dish, so I don't know, but let's go find out. So we went around the village, but there were only two restaurants in there. We don't serve that. It takes too much time. I see. And neither of them served the dish I was looking for. I was ready to give up, but then... They're having a wedding today! This is our chance! Come on! What? My tour guide came back with some good news. He took me to the wedding venue. They were already eating when I got there. I should probably offer them something. Just hand them some Japanese yen and you'll be set. So I did. I handed the host some money. Hello, sir. If you don't mind, I'd like to join the ceremony. Of course, join us. They were such nice people. And so they let me join the party. What on earth is that? That's lamb and rice. Use your hands, don't be shy. My hands? Everyone else was eating with their hands. It was pretty wild, but it wasn't that rare. In many cultures around the world, people eat with their hands. No going back now. Let's eat. I love learning about new cultures. Can't be afraid to try new things. The dish was pretty good. It was loaded with garlic and spices. And the lamb meat was delicious. This is great. I wanted to eat more, but I had to save some space for the main dish. Then the main dish came out. There you go. Whole stuffed camel. Wow. I didn't see this coming. This thing was huge. Look at the size of that thing. Pretty amazing, huh? Only in Africa. The whole stuffed camel holds the Guinness record for the world's largest item on any menu. And the plate was huge too. I was speechless. That thing feeds about 80 people, so... 80 people? Even the best food fighter in the world won't be able to finish this thing. I went to get my share, but... It's so heavy! Look at this thing! Camels weigh about 1,300 pounds, so... And it's stuffed, so... It's a lot of meat! And the way prepared this dish was pretty interesting, too. First, you stuff a fish stomach with boiled eggs. Then you stuff a chicken stomach with that fish. Then you stuff a sheep stomach with that chicken. Finally, you shove that sheep into the camel. Wow. Then they chuck the camel into a huge pot and boil it for 24 hours. Looking good. Where do you get a pot that big? Anyways, I was really grateful for the opportunity. Okay, then. Let's eat. I took a bite out of the hump. They said it was the best part of the camel. It tasted okay. It tasted like cow guts, but with much more fat. This thing is almost all fat. So oily, but the flavor was pretty good. Then I tried the red meat. It was so hard. Wow, it's so hard. <laughs> they only eat the old camels that can't move anymore, so. These people needed the camels to move around the desert. They only ate the camel when it was no longer useful to them. The soup tasted good though, and so was the stuffing. Look at all these different ingredients. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's a very special dish, so. Overall, I really enjoyed it. But then I realized something. So much rice. I can't eat anymore. We were stuffed. This thing was huge. But I'm an odd foods hunter, and this is a special occasion. Ah! Ah! I can't waste food. And so my trip was over. Are you sure you don't want to stay? Yeah, I'm sure. 
If I puke, I'll ruin the wedding. I wish I could have stayed for longer, but oh well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.